Edison's jacket. He left his glasses and his press pass in the breast pocket. I could really use that press pass in his jacket. It'd get me into the stadium to see Glenn. I guess I should ask him first. Excuse me, Mr. Edison. May I bother you for a moment? You would only be bothering me if I were actually enjoying this newspaper. Which, to be perfectly frank, I am not. How can I help you? I noticed the press pass in your jacket, and I was wondering if you might be willing to lend it to me. Just for tonight, so I can get into the stadium to watch the events. I'm afraid I can't. I have to go and watch an event myself. And besides, my press pass lets me use the public transport for free. But you see, it's very important that I get into the stadium tonight. Look, my friend, we're just talking about sports here. You shouldn't take it so seriously. Tomorrow is another day, after all. You can get a press pass in the morning and start reporting right away. Okay, I understand. My apologies. No harm done. The Office of the International Olympic Committee, or IOC for short, it's already closed. Ridiculous, I know. A clean napkin. This napkin is mine. All mine. Who spilled the ketchup? Come on. Own up. My mother taught me not to eat with my fingers. A napkin printed with the name of the cafe. Erica. A bit of tidiness never hurt anyone. Apart from that one time I tried to clean the office and broke my collarbone. Long story. The future does not bode well for that child's teeth. Or figure. He's sucking on a huge lollipop. What do we have here? <laughs> oh, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't cry. You know how it troubles Mummy's nerves. Mummy just wants to enjoy a bite to eat in peace. She gets very cross when she's hungry. Either I look a fright today, or that kid is just jumpy. The poor thing nearly spat out his lolly. Good thing he didn't. I'd rather not get into trouble with a mother of that stature. Hey, it's a life choice. She just likes food. I could teach her a thing or two about proper nutrition, but I doubt she'd be interested. No doubt this hideous thing would pass for a helium balloon. At a freak show. If I'd been given a terrifying balloon animal made from an old rubber glove when I was a kid, I would have considered myself lucky. I'm, uh, yes, I'm going to run away now. Ugh, what is this? Where did this foul looking thing come from? Yeah, my little honey bun. Here's a nice new lolly. Another of my attempts to educate the public bites the dust. The lolly's lying there in the dirt. A lolly. Sweet, sticky, bad for your teeth. I should stick to booze. A telephone booth. I haven't got any German coins. Come to think of it, I haven't got any money at all. A bus stop sign. I can't remove it. A tourist snapping the Brandenburg Gate. Careful! Do not touch my camera! Don't worry. I had no intention of touching anything. I spent a great many hours painstakingly setting up that camera, and it would be a catastrophe if you were to move it by so much as a hair. Please forgive my curiosity. Allow me to introduce myself. Fenton Paddock. A pleasure. Count Otto von Droste Schattenburg. 
A count with a camera, eh? Wouldn't say, uh, an adding machine be a more appropriate device? Please. I would be much obliged if you would not trivialize our conversation with such banal wordplay. I am a renowned photographer from Vienna. Have you never heard of me? To be honest, no, I haven't. But maybe that's because I live in Hong Kong. My work has also been exhibited in Hong Kong, sir. Oh. Oh, that Count Otto van Dross Schattenberger. What are you taking pictures of? I'm shooting images for my latest photographic series, Berlin and the Olympic Games. This work will be subtitles of forgotten landmarks. I intend to capture locations that are not currently the main focus of public interest. I see. Unfortunately, artistic freedom is becoming a thing of the past in Berlin. Photography is often banned in public squares or even in entire districts. This does not make my work any easier. What's the deal with these photography bans? All oh, political reasons. The government officials here believe there are certain parts of the city that may be unrepresentative of the capital's overall charm. But the Brandenburg Gate's okay, right? That's correct. The gate is to be the central focus of my latest project. A photography ban here would mean all my months of preparation were for naught. Several galleries have already booked the exhibit in advance. No, a ban here would be absolutely outrageous. But then, the Count von Drost de Schattenburg isn't just anybody. Even here I have friends in high places. Why, I would go straight to the magistrate and make my mind known. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Your camera looks very professional. Of course it does. It is the most advanced model available on the market today. It has a new setting that I use for experimental photography. I take multiple exposures of the same image at regular intervals. This allows me to capture different phases of my subject and depict them in a single photograph. Ah, I see. So the position of the camera mustn't change at all while you're taking a picture, right? Hmm, I see that you know something about the fine art of photography. Just an interested layman. I have to ask about the photography ban again. Yes. You said that if photography were banned here at Pariserplatz, you could have the city magistrate change that. Well, I would certainly go directly to his office and bring the full weight of my influence to bear. But what would happen to your camera and the photos you're taking? Perhaps a concerned passerby would offer to keep an eye on them until you got back. Hmm. But where would I find someone like that? I don't suppose... Count, I would be more than happy to lend you a hand, should the unlikely circumstance arise, of course. Well, I don't want to keep you from your work any longer. Thank you. The Brandenburg Gate. It's Berlin's Big Ben. just be long enough. Hopefully it'll stick. Ah, a Reichsmark coin. Can't help but think I could have spent all this time busking and made more money. But hey, it's something for nothing. Sort of.